wanted to go ahead and make this haul video for you. It's my recent purchases from Tokyo Otaku Mode and Koi Plush Love. Um, unfortunately, I already opened both boxes because I was too anxious to wait. So I'm sorry about that, but I hope you guys enjoy this video just as much. And I will apologize for the lighting as well as the video quality. I'm not using my camera like normal. I'm using my laptop today. So I will go ahead and get started. Um, this is my Tokyo Otaku box that I got. Um, my very first purchase from Tokyo Otaku Mode. I had a very huge box because it was big plushies. But these are obviously smaller. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what's inside. So the first thing that was on the top was my invoice purchase. So it's right there. It has personal information. So I will not show that to you guys. Um, and then it came with this new postcard and um, a sticker. Now, unfortunately, my first purchase came with a cool clear file folder as well as a pin. And if you have not seen that video, I will post a link down below. It's my very first El Picasso video. But this time they gave a postcard and a sticker. I'd rather have the folder and a pin, but that's just me. Um, yeah, so I don't know if they're going to change it up all the time or if this is their new goodies that they give for every order. But that is what I got. Now, as um, in regards to the items that I purchased, they're still having the free gift wrapping with every order. So, of course, I went ahead and did that. And I got the Tokyo Otaku Mode bag. Um, and the albacassos were in here, or at least one of them were. <laughs> that is the box opening up with my cute little plushies. So the first one that I purchased was my Pawa Pawan albacasso. I think that's how you pronounce it. But this is the white boy with the red bow, the red sequin bow. And he's super cute. This is the 16 centimeter guy, if you're wondering. And here is his tag. Um, there was a post going around Tumblr about these guys going back in stock and I snagged one as soon as I could and I'm very happy that I got him because he's the most unique looking one in my collection with his texture and everything of the sort. So he's super cute. And then I got a set of Alpacasos and these are the last things that I got. Um, I got the bridal set and this is with the yellow guy and the white girl, white bride. Um, he is super cute. He has a really cute face. Her, on the other hand, she looks a little funky, which is kind of true to life form with me and my boyfriend. <laughs> my boyfriend's really cute, and then I'm a little funky, but you know, I mean, it's adorable nonetheless. Um, of course, this set has the yellow one and the white one. I kind of like the um, white groom with the white bride, just because of the white textures match each other. Um... But yet, I kind of like the way her pink roses are instead of the white bow on the pink bride. But these are from the cute little bridal collection, and this is their tag. Very, very cute. And so my boyfriend thought they were the funniest things ever, but I love them, and I'm really glad to have them in my collection. And again, these are the 16 centimeter ones, just like my... Pawa Pawan. But see how she looks derpy? I mean, the, he does too. But he, the bride just looks <laughs> funny. I don't know if it's because she has like no neck or whatever, but anyway, these are the three that I got from Tokyo Otaku Mode. Just throw them in a box there. Yeah. The next purchase that I made uh, was from Koi Plush Love. And with every order you get a free goodie, you either get a free milk carton plushie or a dumpling plushie. And what I did was I made two separate purchases because I wanted two different um, little plushie guys. So the first little goodie that I got was a yellow dumpling. And I picked this guy out because I wanted him. And this is what he looks like. And he's very, very cute. And it's a little like phone, phone charm. And then I also got a pink dumpling because I didn't really want the milk carton at the time. But I got the mink, the mink, <laughs> the pink dumpling. And this is on my Hello Kitty case for my Nintendo DS. But I got these cute two, two cute dumplings. And they're so, they're so precious. I just 
love them dearly. Um, but yes, okay, into the good stuff. So this is the box that it came in. Um, just a big, I don't know if people are actually interested in looking at the box, but this is the box that it came in. And it's wrapped in bubble wrap, as well as a clear, like, trash bag type of thing. Um, I'm not going to show you it because I don't want to ruin the surprise. But came on bubble wrap with the invoice and everything. You can see it's pink foot. Are you guys going to guess what I got? Are you going to guess? Oh, it's one I've been looking at on, like, Bayi and other websites, but they're sold out in a lot of places. But she popped up on my little feed for Koi Plush Love. Her head is crooked, just like my um, brown sweet delights boy. But this is what she looks like. And she's so cute. She is from the Lovely Berry series. Lovely Baby Albagasso series. Um, and this is what the tag looks like for her. And then you can see all the other ones on the back. And she's just so precious. The picture that was on the website was not the one I got. So he must have more than one or it must have been an older photo. Just showing what he had in stock. Um, but I'm glad I got her because she has a cuter face than the other one did. But she's totally precious. And of course, because she's an older series, she has a wobbly head. But she is really big. She's like the same size as my um, Berry Berry Alpacasso. So this is her and she looks so cute. And I have realized, I posted this on Tumblr because Plush Tea was also talking about that. Um, like her collection is just pink and white or that's like her main color scheme. And I know that is what mine is too. Um, I will link Plush Tea in the description box as well. She has amazing videos too. Um, but my entire collection is pretty much pink and white, which I'm not really ashamed. Pink and white are my go-to colors and they soothe me and they just look cute to me. White? How does white look cute? I don't know. But in Picasso's they look cute. But I'm really glad that I got her. Um, but yeah, so I have many more, um, I think I have one more of this series. Um, I don't currently have him with me. He is sitting in the Bai warehouse, so <laughs> I have to pay for shipping, but um, he's over there waiting for me to pick him up, but she will not be lonely. I have realized that with my collection, I usually have two from every series, and it's usually a girl and a boy. I don't know if I've said this in another video, but I just realized it again, that I have a girl and a boy, so that the boy won't be lonely and vice versa. But anyway, so this is her. I have to think of a name for her. She's super cute, and she's just, she's a cutie bear. Um, so yes, I got her and the other Alpacasos, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope. I hope I'm making everyone else collect more albacassos because it's really fun um, and they make me happy. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys later. Bye guys!